hello from the quarantine workshop. Um, I am going to be doing a new finish on an old, old mirror um, that will then be adapted to an existing chest of drawers that we have, a short chest of drawers. Um, I'll show you that later. That's uh, upstairs. It's beautiful. It's spoon carved. It was my grandmother's. Um, came out of her basement. Um, uh, but it didn't have a mirror, so it needed one. And uh, we found this lovely thing here. Let me see if I can spin us around and uh, show you what that looks like. Well, here, let's try it this way. So that is the mirror. As you can see, I've already started to paint it. And uh, these wings go on the sides. They're a little bit uh, too big, so we'll have to cut them down. Here's the mirror itself, as you can see. So it uh, it, it pivots. It uh, it has uh, sort of a hinge in the middle, so it'll turn up and down depending on, I suppose, how tall you are. Um, that's Annie Sloan chalk paint, and that's what we're going to be using. It's the premier brand of chalk paint that you can buy. Um, it's, uh, well, Annie at least is from um, uh, Great Britain. Um, I'm not sure if the paint is still made there, but it's lovely stuff. Um, it's just super thick, so I've tried uh, thinning it down here. We're going to see how that goes. This is a cream color. I intend to do cream over both pieces, and then use something called uh, um, French linen, uh, which is kind of a grayish, topish color. That'll go over the whole thing, uh, and then I'll be distressing it so that this cream color shows through a bit, uh, particularly in the decorative areas. Um, and in spoon carving, it will show through in the carving itself. Um, so, uh, without further ado, I think I'll begin painting and uh, show you the results later. So, over and out. Hello, back to the quarantine shop. We're going to take a look at the dresser that I'm going to be refinishing. Uh, it's right through here. Bit of a mess. Remnants of a uh, trip to Costa Rica that got canceled because of our uh, little stay at home. So, here it is. Uh, it's a lovely piece. Let's put a little more light on it. So, spoon carved, as you can see, really beautiful carving. And in that carving, the cream color that I showed you yesterday will uh, still show up, but the French linen, the gray taupey color, uh, will cover the surface of it. Really, it's got a lovely finish on it now, but I need to, to match the mirror that I'm working on that you saw yesterday. And uh, there's no way I can duplicate this on the mirror. So that's why I'm refinishing both of them. This is the French linen color, just to give you an idea of what that looks like. Here's an original mirror that I uh, finished for the room, but I, I like it, but I don't like it with the dresser. So, so that's what uh, the before looks like. Uh, we'll be back with uh, the first coat of paint on this and show you yesterday's results on the mirror um, a little later. Thanks. Well, it's a few days later here in the quarantine workshop, but uh, back at it. Um, I believe we left off with a uh, second coat of the ivory Annie Sloan chalk paint going down on the mirror. Uh, let me show you what that looks like. So as you can see, pretty good coverage here now with the thinned out version of the ivory paint. Uh, we are now going to start applying the first coat, perhaps the only coat we'll see, of French linen. I've mixed up uh, a quantity of one ounce of water to, I guess, uh, about four ounces of uh, paint. So. Uh, one to four ratio to thin it out and we'll see how it goes on um, and uh, we haven't started on the dresser yet so uh, we'll uh, bring you back and show what that looks like once we begin but in the meantime 
Let me see if I can show you the first few brush strokes at least. I'm going to set the phone down for a moment. Sorry about the bright light. While I open this jar of paint that I just mixed up. And yeah, let's see if we can show you the first, uh, first couple of brush strokes. See how it covers, see what it looks like. So here we go. Well, it looks like it's covering pretty well, in fact. It's a gorgeous color. You can hurt tell in this fluorescent light, but it's really, really pretty. Um, yeah, I think the contrast between it and the ivory gives you an idea of what it's going to look like once I start distressing it with sandpaper, once this is covered. See how that... Um, gives you the, the contrast between the low areas uh, and the high areas. So in the spoon carving, uh, the low areas will be exposed in ivory. On this relief pattern, it's probably going to be the, uh, the higher areas. So it'll look a little odd, but a uh, bit of a mismatch, but that's okay. I think we bought this mirror for hmm, maybe $30, $40. And uh, it fits. So uh, we'll make that work. Okay, back again later. Thanks. Hey, everybody. It's time for another installment of the French Linen Chalk Paint um, Project. So I've uh, managed to put the French Linen color over the cream on the mirror. Let's take a look. So as you can see, uh, two coats, and it's really covered quite well. Uh, so really pretty. What you may or may not know, if you don't uh, know about chalk paint, is that over the top of this, uh, I'll be putting a, a wax, a special wax product. I'll show you what that looks like. So this is Annie Sloan. Uh, this is a dark wax. Uh, so it will fill in cracks and provide a sheen to the uh, chalky look that you see right now. And uh, provide some protection too. So it's really a, a bit of an art. Um, you have to determine how much you want to use, how much you want to buff off, how much you want to leave. Uh, so it'll be very interesting when you see the finished product. But I thought I'd show you what the French linen color looked like. Here it is on the mirror itself. And uh, that means that very shortly we'll be introducing you to the actual chest which is upstairs in the bedroom. Uh, I'm going to do it in situ because I don't want to move it downstairs. Um, so we'll have a look at that, uh, the before and during and after, very shortly. Thanks for watching. Looks like uh, weeks later and the work is done. Hope you like it.